Welcome to Bible 180, Zephaniah. Zephaniah is written during the reign of the King Josiah. King Josiah was a pretty good king, and he did a lot of good things, including cleaning up and restoring the temple. But while doing that, he discovered the book of the Torah, which was tucked away in a forgotten part of Jerusalem's temple, and thereafter he tried to do a wholesale reform of Judah. But things were so bad that Judah had misplaced and forgotten about the single most important document in their history, the Constitution and Covenant with Yahweh. Yahweh is cleaning house, and there's practically nothing salvageable about the situation. God proclaims that he's just going to sweep away everything from the face of the earth. Birds, animals, and humankind all together. He accuses Judah of being the epitome of what's wrong with the world. They have been nurtured and led by Yahweh, yet they brazenly worship all manner of foreign gods. Yahweh says, I'm done with this. The day of the Lord is coming. Yahweh will return, but it will be a day of vengeance and punishment. Here Zephaniah interjects. Gather together and repent, please. God's been known to forgive, so seek him while you still can. Pursue righteousness and humility. God's pardon is your only hope, Judah. Then Zephaniah begins to list off other nations who will be swept away along with Judah before he circles back to Jerusalem. Jerusalem's leaders are supposed to protect God's people, but they are actually predators. Her prophets are supposed to speak the word of the Lord, but they are actually the last people you should listen to. Her priests are supposed to handle the holy things, but in reality, they are profane and nasty. Gentle reminders and even stern rebukes have not gotten through to them. But I will get through to my people, says Yahweh. I will pour out my anger and judgment on them, and they will have no choice but to recognize the error of their ways. Then Zephaniah does a full 180, saying, Rejoice, O daughter of Zion, be glad with all your heart, because the Lord, the King of Israel, is with you, and never again will you fear any harm. Those who I humble, I will rescue and comfort. In that day, I will be with you again. And at that time, I will gather you in and give you honor and praise and restore your fortunes right in front of your very eyes. Zephaniah never even mentions it's the Babylonians who are this punishing agent of Yahweh, but it's going to become painfully obvious to everyone that it will be the Babylonians. Yet Zephaniah wants the Jews to recognize that this is, in reality, Yahweh's doing. Yahweh is punishing his people, and yet the king will one day return to his people, and at that time, he will restore them and give them a great reason to rejoice again. God is horrified and righteously indignant when leaders are selfish and irresponsible, yet he is also passionate to save and deliver his people, no matter how far they have gone, is willing to restore them.